Improving your mouse control is one of the most important things as a keyboard and mouse gamer. If you can't control your mouse, how are you gonna have steady, consistent accuracy? How are you gonna have good crosshair placement? All that stuff comes from having good mouse control. So in this video, I'll be giving you tips on your sensitivity, your practice, your techniques, and your equipment to get the best mouse control. Please consider using code JIVENTV if the content's been helping you out, or at least make sure you're using somebody's code because it helps us out a ton. Without further ado, let's hop into this video. If you want to skip around the video, timestamps are down below. The first thing that we're going to be talking about is sensitivity. You should be basing your sensitivity based off the amount of mousepad space that you have, but also the amount of mousepad space that is comfortable for you to use. For example, if I go all the way to the end of my triple XL mouse pad, I am not going to be feeling comfortable reaching that far. So there's a simple drill that you can do to find a really good sensitivity for you based on the amount of mouse pad space you have. So the first step to finding the perfect sensitivity for you is figuring out how much of your mouse pad space you feel comfortable using. And so I feel comfortable using this whole mouse pad space. Once you figure that out, you should hop into creative and adjust your sensitivity until you can move your mouse from one side of the mouse pad to the other and moving about one and a half circles. Anywhere between one to two circles is usually going to be ideal, but if you wanna go a little bit higher, that is a-okay. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys watch that and you're like, whoa, that sensitivity is way too low for me. It's fine, you can go higher, but I really do recommend a lower sensitivity for people on bigger mouse pads. Most Fortnite pros do not go much higher than 15 X and Y, 800 DPI, or that translates to 7.5 X and Y, 1600 DPI. That's like usually the maximum for pro players. There's a few that go higher, but most are below that. Now, real quick, while we're on the topic of settings, if you haven't already changed this setting, do it with me real quick. Go to your mouse settings on your PC, open that up, and then go to additional mouse options, and go to pointer options. Here you need to make sure that you do not have enhanced pointer precision checked. If you have that setting checked, it's basically going to accelerate the rate at which your mouse moves based on how fast you move your mouse. It's really weird and it throws off your aim. So make sure you have that unchecked. Turn that off. Something I changed at my setup that helped me a lot was this. Basically, my armrest can raise and lower. I lowered my armrest all the way to the bottom and then raised my chair as high up as it goes. That way I can still pull my chair all the way under my desk because the armrests are lowered and that way my arm is at an, a very level point with my desk. So if it was underneath my desk, I would have all this awkward friction. But because I made it level, my arm does not have too much friction. It has just enough so that I can use my arm as friction to slow down and speed up, but it also doesn't like inhibit my movement, if that makes sense. So basically raise and lower your chair until you get the perfect length of your armrests and your chair to your desk. I know not all of you have that option and that's totally fine. You don't 100% need it. You're fine without it, but just a little tip. Your mouse and your mouse pad are going to play a bit of an effect on your mouse control. I've tested so many mice and the one that I found that I like the most is the G Pro Super Light. I've tried the Final Mouse, I've tried the Razer Viper Ultimate, I've tried all sorts of mice, but the G Pro Super Light is just like the perfect balance of everything. And the favorite mouse pad that I've tried is the Artisan Hein Extra Soft. Another mouse pad that I really like because of how smooth it is is the Glorious Triple XL, but the Artisan Hein is like the most vouched mouse pad in the community that I've seen. I was researching with my boy My Temper for a long time and we just determined that the Artisan Hine is absolutely the best. Obviously there's lots of other good equipment out there, but these are our personal favorites. So now that we covered all of that, how do you actually practice your mouse control? There's a lot of different ways depending on the different games you play, but there's one thing that helps no matter what game you play in the community. Using third-party aim softwares like Kovacs, Aim Labs, Aim Beasts, OSU, just like games that train your timing, train your aim and accuracy, are going to train your mouse control like crazy. I use Kovacs every single day and I've been seeing insane aim improvements because of it. And I know, oh, Kovacs every single day, that's boring. But dude, honestly, Kovacsing is probably my favorite part of the day. Aim training is just relaxing. You put on some music and you can feel yourself getting better every single time you play it. So I definitely recommend doing stuff like that. 
I put three different Kovacs routines in the description. If you're using Kovacs, definitely check those out. There are three different difficulties, beginner, medium, and advanced. Start out with the beginner if you're new, obviously, and just work your way up. Every time you get on, just try to beat your previous scores. You know, if the course is built around accuracy, make sure you're taking your time with your shots. If it's built around speed, make sure you're trying to go faster every single day. I promise you though, if you use these platforms enough, you will see improvements. Now, one other tip that a lot of people vouched to me for improving their mouse control and figuring out their mouse space was practicing spinning in 180s and 360s. If you can literally nail a 180 and a 360 almost every single time, then you have a really good grasp of your sensitivity and your mouse space. Definitely a useful skill to have under your belt. Anyways, guys, those are my general tips for improving your mouse control based off settings, based off equipment, all that stuff. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did, be sure to hit that like button sub if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I'm filthy. I'm sorry.